Okay, so for this lesson, um, this is the next step for creating your buckram hat. We've created the pattern, and now what we're gonna do is cut out the buckram, the fabric, the lining, and any other materials that we need to create the hat. So what I'm gonna do is start by showing you how to cut out the buckram base, and um, we'll go from there. I have both a fabric, so this will be my outside fabric, I have some flannel that'll be used as um, a material that's called mulling, um, and that's basically an interlining. And I have a lining for the inside of the hat to finish the edge. So I have those three materials and the buckram to cut out. Okay, so I have my original patterns that I created um, for the buckram hat. So I have my tip, my brim, and my side band. And when you look at the, the buckram, so right now I'm using one ply buckram, and we, were, we have both one ply and two ply. This one is just, you can see it's a little thinner so you can see through it, um, but it has a grain line. And that's important to, to think about because we actually want to cut the tip and the brim on the bias. So the bias, if you look at my pattern, is basically 45 degree angle if you were to to make a straight line through the center front and the side that is um, perpendicular the bias will be at a 45 degree angle of that and i'm going to put that bias line with the grain and that makes the actual grain on this piece at 45 which is what we want so i'm going to line up this bias line onto the piece there and it's kind of hard to pin my push pins don't really go through this mat so I could try to push and see how that works and I'm, I'm not confident it's gonna stay but I'm, what I'm gonna do is just hold it in place for now and the brim it also has um, my little arrow over here so I'm gonna line that up also and what I'm gonna do is start with this one and I'm going to trace this outside edge. So my buckram tip gets that seam allowance, which is a half an inch. And I'm just going to trace this. I have a pencil, and I want to make sure the pencil is marked is pretty sharp. I'm just going to go around the outer edge and try not to make the line too much larger than my pattern piece. It should be about the same size. And then once I have um, the outside edge traced, you can see that, I need to mark my center front, center back, side seam. So I'm gonna draw a line exactly where those are. And because I'm drawing them on the outside of the area I would cut, I have to also bring that line down into the buckram piece. Okay, so I have those and I'm just gonna bring that line down. And this has the seam allowance, so I need to actually draw the, the finish edge on the inside. So I'm gonna take my ruler and go around and just mark a half an inch in, which is where we actually want it to finish. And I need to write center front so that I can see it, and I'll write center back, side and side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my, my brim pattern. Okay, so then the next part is the, the side band, and I need to adjust my material here.
Okay, so the sideband, it goes with the straight of green. You don't have to worry about that one being on the bias. And when I cut this out, I'm gonna cut just on the inside of my line because the line is bigger than my pattern piece, right? Because obviously you have to draw it on the outside. So when I cut it, I just wanna go right on the inside of where the line is drawn. And for the sideband, you have your seam allowance on the back that you need to add, and that's it. You don't need to add any seam allowance on the top or the bottom. For the tip, you do have the seam allowance on the outside, and for the brim, you have your seam allowance on the inside, but nothing on the outside. So I have my fabric laid out, and now we're gonna do basically the same thing that we did to the buckram. I wanna make sure that I place my tip on the bias, just like the arrow, so that means um, I'm going to place the arrow following the grain, which puts this tip on the bias for me. And I'm going to take the brim and do the same thing, okay, so that is also going to follow the bias. And then I'll take my side band and go with the grain with this one. And this time I can actually pin it down and I'm gonna trace it with my yellow pencil. So I'm gonna trace this outer edge with the pencil and you're drawing on the wrong side of the fabric. So the side that you want to see on the outside of your hat is going to be this side. And I'm drawing basically my seam allowances, uh, seam allowances and any of the markings that I need like the center front on this wrong side of the fabric. And then I'm gonna take my small seam gauge because it's easier to mark a seam allowance with. I just set the seam gauge to half an inch and I'll go around here. So this will be the finished line. This is the finished size. And always make sure